Thank you guys for coming out today. Uh, we're going to be preparing two dishes with some great local seafood. I'll let Chef Nick tell you about that first, what he's got. Today we're going to use some uh, local golf flounder um, that we filleted off the bone and uh, we'll be stuffing it with uh, Louisiana crab meat, lump crab meat, and topped with a uh, Mornay sauce, which is basically a bechamel sauce that uh, Gruyere cheese is added to it. Chris? We're going to be taking some great local Gulf oysters and we're going to crust them in something else great from Louisiana, a little Zapp's chips. We're going to serve the red bean gravy. Okay. Okay, to start off today, I'm going to start off making our uh, Marnay sauce, which will take a little bit of butter. Melt it down. Bruce Foods is located in New Iberia, Louisiana. We are the number one canner of uh, Bruce's yams. In peak season, we normally do about a million pounds of yams a day. Peak season starts in about August and goes to about November, December. So while we're melting this butter down, we're going to take a little bit of flour and we're going to make a blonde roux. Okay, we're going to start our dish today. We're going to make a red bean gravy. So I'm sure everyone's made red beans on Monday. Um, so what we've done, we've taken some red beans and boiled them with just a little bit of bacon and bay leaves. So these are our cooked red beans. We're going to take them and saute them with a little bit of Trinity. So Trinity, for anyone that might not be from here, are is onions, celery, and bell peppers. All right, we're gonna let that cook down. So basically what we're doing, we're getting all the flavors of the red beans you normally have with red beans and rice. And we're gonna turn this into a gravy. So we're gonna let this cook down. We're gonna also add a little bit of bacon, because you know, bacon is such a great flavor. Uh, you could add tasso or andouille if you prefer, or you could add all three, or you know, you could add, if you don't eat uh, pork for instance, you could use smoked turkey sausage. But that's no fun, so why would you do that? But, it, but anyway, we, we use a non-fat bacon. We don't use anything with fat or anything bad, so don't, this is all very, very healthy. So we're just gonna let that cook down for a moment. Okay. And he's got his roux going here. Now that we let the roux cook for about four or five minutes or so, we're gonna add our milk. A marinade sauce is basically a uh, traditional bechamel sauce that we add Gruyere cheese in, and we thicken it with uh, egg yolk to richen up the sauce and also act as a thickening agent. We'll let that cook for a little while. All right, we're gonna just letting this cook down. And we're also gonna add a little bit of chicken stock. You could use vegetable stock or uh, you could use water if you didn't have stock. We're just gonna let this cook until all the vegetables soften up a little bit. Okay, we're also gonna add a little bit of hot sauce and you can adjust that accordingly. If you want to use a little bit of cayenne to make it a little bit spicier or just cut back on the, ho on the hot sauce. A little bit of Worcestershire. Okay. We got a little fresh thyme and fresh oregano. Now while the sauce is cooking down we're also going to add a little bit of nutmeg. A little salt. Also black pepper. And we'll let this simmer for about, uh, say, six to eight minutes. All right, so this is cooking down. So our next step, we're gonna, we're gonna imagine we've let this cook for about 15 minutes or so. We're gonna put this in, our, in a blender. So we're gonna make a puree out of this. And to the puree, we're gonna add a little bit of cream. While he's doing that, we'll go to our uh, crab meat stuffing. We have local Louisiana lump crab meat. Bread crumbs, the trinity that we've uh, cooked down with a little bit of butter, onions, bell pepper, and celery, egg, a little mayo, a little Louisiana hot sauce, Worcestershire sauce. And today I'm using a, um, our Creole seasoning, it's a Cajun Injector Cajun Shake. We're also going to add a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt, black pepper, and a little bit of Creole seasoning. You're just going to basically blend this till it's smooth. 
Once our Marnay sauce begins to thicken, we're going to add some uh, Gruyere cheese. Can everybody see the uh, sauce starting to thicken? All right. So this is our finished product. This is after we've had enough time to cook and everything pureed it up, added our cream to it. Okay, so this is going to be our red bean gravy. So next, we're going to make the, prepare the oysters. So for the oysters, we're going to make a little crust. And we're going to use our food processor. If I can get the food processor to work, that is. All right. So in our food processor, we're going to add a little bit of Zapp's chips. These are craw tater. Okay. Add some flour. Okay. A little bit of cornstarch. And this is, these are uh, dried potato buds, instant potatoes. So normally you think, well, you're using instant potatoes. There actually is a good use for these. These make a great crust for frying. Okay, and this is a little bit of panko breadcrumb. Next, we'll take some of our uh, fresh flounder fillets. We're gonna season them with a little uh, Creole seasoning. Then we're gonna take our traditionally, most people stuff it on the, uh, the breast up. We're gonna actually make little, uh, little balls of the uh, crab meat stuffing. And we're gonna actually roll it, the flounder around it, and set it up nicely. We add a little seasoning to our breadcrumbs. So a little bit of salt, black pepper, and Creole seasoning again. Add a little bit more flour to it just to dry it out a little bit so it sticks to the oysters. All right, so that, this is our final product. There's a nice texture to it. it really, when you fry it, it tastes just like the potato chip, basically an oyster inside of a potato chip. So we have some already made. We're going to fry some off. Next in our uh, baking dish, when we're ready to bake the flounder, you're going to bake it on a 350 degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. We're going to add a little fresh lemon. And you can also add some herbs, some fresh thyme, some fresh parsley. And then we'll also add a little bit of uh, white wine. And we'll put it in the oven. We actually have some ready. Everyone see the flounder, the baked flounder? So now what we'll do is plate up. And traditionally what you would normally do, you would want to spoon a little bit of the Marnay sauce on, turn your broiler on, and that way once the, the heat from the top It'll make it nice and brown. So add a little Marnay sauce on top. I've also made some uh, candied lemons for garnish and a little bit of Michael Greens to go on top. There you have crab meat stuffed flounder with Marnay sauce. All right, guys, these are our oysters after we fried them in the uh, craw tater crust. So we're going to plate them up. So kind of a fun way to plate them up, we're going to take our bag of chips, take a little bit of our sauce, a little bit of green onions, and we've made some house pickled red beans. Just a little garnish on the plate. And this is our finished product, guys.